Julia Fox is a horrible person. And if you don't believe me, if you think I'm being hyperbolic, I am so ready to prove you wrong because she is an absolutely awful human being. Let's start first with what she said about men and yeah. re keep in mind the fact that this woman has has a, a son of her own, a two-year-old son of her this own. This is all from a cover yeah. story that Elle from did Elle. on yeah. Julia Fox called The Gospel According to Julia Fox. And she's wearing a bunch of all denim outfits. And the first one is, I believe, blasphemous, like a blasphemous take on the Virgin Mary, which is super original. Celebrities keep keep doing that. You look very original and artistic. Here's what she <laughs> here's what she said uh, about her, when talking about her son. I guess it wasn't just talking about her son, but just keep in mind I she has a son. She had a her kid. son she is says, named Valentino, yes. and he is from her previous marriage, which ended in yeah. 2020, to a pilot. This one was married. She says she was I'm, for she two years. She lived a whole they, life. They dated for one month yeah. and got married in Vegas. I'm not against. And that. they were like, "This is gonna work out." Yeah. I don't know. We love. I love people who are decisive. I'm sad it didn't work out yeah. for them. She, she says. I'm terrified. I'm like, oh my God, I cannot create, I cannot produce another one of these horrible men. Yep. Her poor like, kid. Her, it's like, a totally what, normal what, thing to if think. You, if you watch her interview with Ziwe, it plays off like avant-garde, wannabe art nerd, edgelord crap. So the do problem is all of these her, photos, by her the way. kid is not going to necessarily know that. And he's going to have to one day look back at this stuff. I don't know what would be worse. Would her having an OnlyFans be worse than finding out that your mom just hates your entire gender? Well, Julia Fox has already been a professional BDSM dominatrix. Yes. So she can do anything. The wow. appearance of, you know, propriety is kind of out the window. But yep. um, yeah, she said a lot of wild things in this interview and with Z-Way. And if you watch her interview with Z-Way from a couple months ago, Z-Way's whole thing is that she invites a guest on simply to embarrass them and trip them up on their own words. It's very And create clear. awkward silences yeah. to go viral, to, to humiliate that person. And it worked perfectly on Julia Fox because she's such an NPC and has all of these robotic responses that when they're scrutinized, she instantly looks like the moron she is. So like... The video literally starts with her saying, oh, yeah, safe abortions, abortions for everyone. And she just goes on a bunch of tirades about how she's a self-hating white person. She talks constantly about how much she hates being white. Especially, yeah, yeah. She, she hates being herself for being white. She hates white people. Um, she has so many black friends. Uh, what is her <laughs> ex-pilot husband? Just out of curiosity. Oh, yeah, he's white. And also, she's well, also called him a deadbeat dad to the media. And meanwhile, this guy is not even a celebrity. He's just a normal guy. Yep. So he's supposed to defend himself against the the corporate Hollywood press, and she Based has all the power. No evidence that he's a deadbeat dad. Right. There's and I don't I don't know the situation, but I assume that's why she was vulnerable to being whisked away by Kanye and this made into the, his dress up doll. This her behavior is whisked the worst away or type voluntarily of, jumped in that yeah. current. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And it gave her a huge boost. Mm -hmm. So she says, I don't know. Uh, she says, I feel like knowingly engaging in a heterosexual relationship. You are signing yourself up for an unhealthy dynamic. Literally all relationships in human history, with the exception of like. Yeah. A point zero zero one percentage point yeah. are unhealthy dynamics. Good to know, Julia Fox. Thank yep. you. Uh, so she's uh, she goes on like the uh, the. By the way, in regard so to Kanye's yeah. anti-Semitism scandals, she said, "I feel bad for everyone involved. I feel bad for the Jewish people. Some of my Jewish friends are shook right now, and that breaks my heart." I really, truly would have never seen him taking this direction. Good to know you can even grift off of this guy losing his career opportunities when he gave you yours. Mm -hmm. Anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna, I want to read the rest of this one. It says, Julia Fox is, not do is, is, is done with men. No, really, she's had it. No, she's not dating. You. She isn't having sex. She has no desire to be intimate with anyone. She says, I want to be left alone, she says. Is that supposed to be a good thing? In her punctuated vocal fry. Like, don't talk to me. Don't look at me. Don't bother me. She's not just talking about men. She's had it with relationships. Although you can make your own assumptions about which, about which ones with her recent exes. This is about men at large. Men who are, according to Fox, don't recognize their privilege. Men with fragile notions of their masculinity. Men who are deadbeat uh. dads. And male politicians who make the kinds of policy decisions that leave single mothers to struggle. I'm picturing her like, I'm picturing Alabama 
Julia Fox or Mississippi Julia Fox. She's never living anywhere where this is a problem. She's living in deep blue states all the time. She was raised in, I think, the Upper East Side. So she's in a deep according blue. According to the article. Yeah. So, yeah. So she's and talking she said, to- like, you know, to get by in life, you have to be a little delusional. And in my mind, I've been famous for my entire life. And it sounds like that is just pathological narcissism. She, she's. This is what I talk about recently. Uh, a, a big thing that I've pushed back on lately is the idea of self-love. Self-love is a delusion, I think, mm-hmm. in modern culture that's really just self-aggrandizement and self-obsession that people have packaged into something that sounds like you're sticking up for yourself, and I think it's disgusting. Like, I make the joke. I'm always like, we need more self-loathing. But what I'm actually talking about is we need a healthier understanding of who we are as people without putting blatant platitudes yeah. and buzzwords in front of it. Like, they've replaced the idea of Mm self-respect with self-worship yeah i think this whole photo shoot where she's trying to be artsy and edgy everything in here Mm -hmm. in my opinion is ugly you know she is so desperate for attention and for self-gratification that she can't think of anything else she can't think about how talking about her son's father in the media will affect their future relationship she can only think about her current intentions which are to gain as much fame as possible well talking also, about how she doesn't want to be famous and she wants to be left alone no no it's not that she doesn't want to be famous she's always edgelord. been famous she's I think, in one of these pictures has like all denim horn like devil horns coming out of her tits like <laughs> well and like she doesn't look I, she doesn't look beautiful she doesn't look sexy she, she looks, looks ugly on purpose she looks weird she's admitted like, it to what end? She's in right? her villain era. And it's it's well, it reminds me of early Lady Gaga, right? Who also yeah. was raised in the Upper East Side, who wore kind of crazy outfits. Let's never forget the meat dress, right? And it was outlandish and it wasn't about being beautiful. It was about sort of sure. being a character. And it's like that, except more desperate for attention. Uh, I, I think we I can at least back of, up Lady Gaga's crazy looks with the fact that she has real talent. And it, Julia Fox doesn't. Right. Lady Gaga was part of the character of Lady Gaga, I yeah. think. I fundamentally believe that. And it was interesting, and she doesn't do it as much now, but you still see some of it in her style. This is like, these are the only designers who address me for this photo shoot, so I'm going to wear whatever they have out there. Like, it's a mutually beneficial attempt to gain attention. I, I think one of the strange things about this whole interview is it's just so negative, right? There's yeah. No, it's not strange. It's super she common a these days. horrible outlook on the world. Horrible outlook. She hates men. She hates heterosexual relationships. She thinks yeah. that this is bad and that's bad. But she's not proposing any solutions. That's, here. But the right. writer is still praising her. Yep. Mm-hmm. Like because people love the negativity. These, yeah. I mean, these the clips are great. They'll circulate forever. Meanwhile, she's not saying what kind of man she's trying to raise her son. She's not saying what her values are. She's not saying what are just good political bad. solutions for helping single mothers. She's just telling you what's wrong yeah. with the world. And oh, no, she's she telling is... you about the solutions. She's saying, well, kill okay, here, here, here's that not line. Really, though. Z-Way ruthlessly mined Julia Fox for sound bites. And it was... it was like listening to like a particularly mean bully pick on a handicapped right, person. Yeah, so it was really bad. Z-Way asked her, do you think that we should just kill men? And here's what she said. I think that if the man deserves it, yeah, why not? Men kill women all the time for just no all, reason. For no all reason. The time. It just, it just happens. Can't walk down the street without potentially Some days murdered. I'm, Mary, some days I just have a bad day at work and that's what I do. I just go out and that's what I do. I'm sure there are some cases that you can definitively classify as a femicide, yeah. but every time that a woman gets killed is not a femicide. Nope. Mm-mm. Like, I also that's think like wild. it does downplay the seriousness of when women are murdered, especially in by romantic partners, right? By saying it happens all the time. Like, no, you yeah. should understand the circumstances. But when it they does happen, ha- but it has a really reason. Want it to there is a reason, though. Like, I mean, when, maybe if she said in the Middle East or yeah. like in or, other countries. Or, for no good reason, right? <laughs> yeah. For for reasons exactly, that are delusional yeah. and completely against their culture or against their values, right? Sure, I, I believe that. Yeah. But this, it happens all the time, nonchalance about it. If you really were wanting to protect women, wouldn't you take this chance, this uh, international mm-hmm. platform to say, I think it's really important that we do this to help women. Like this is an act of na- narcissism masquerading as is, martyrdom. She's not that smart. She's just incredibly verbally intelligent talking about herself and herself yep. only, which is the case for a lot of these celebrities. And uh, I, I think that she's full of resentment against everyone, but especially men after divorcing and being a single mom yeah. to this guy who is supposedly an absentee and she's gonna reg- she's father. gonna resent the son she's gonna resent she's, the son. yeah she's clearly she resentful already. of her son at least for being male yeah. and you said earlier brett i almost wish she had a daughter so that at least 
instead of being self-hating, she would be hateful towards others, yeah. right? Because but if she, that a, seems a more merciful. Well, and if she had a daughter, it would be raising her to not trust anyone. I mean, can you imagine her sharing the custody of a female child with a man she already calls a deadbeat, right? Mm -hmm. the, I mean, that mm -hmm. dynamic would be so toxic to raise a child in. We can't trust yeah. any men. Heterosexual relationships are bad. I'm, I repent all of my ways. Also, we don't like your dad. Like, it's just asking to ruin the lives of young looking i know she would say like you're just like your father she probably says that to the boy too yep. <laughs> insane it's uh, i want to talk about and she, the, she admitted that she almost killed somebody the, by the, the drug way. dealer i want to talk about this do you guys remember the story a couple years back they actually ended up making it a storyline on atlanta where liam neeson like an absolute like boomer gave the take where like his uh his sister or his or his sister or somebody was like r-worded and he said he went out looking for people that looked like the person that attacked his sister that's the vibes i got from this so basically her friend died of a drug overdose and she assumed without seemingly any proof that this drug dealer gave her friend a bad pill intentionally and she wanted to get revenge and kill him so she waited outside his home watching him through her rear view mirror with her car seat down holding her dead friend's gun she openly admitted this on youtube and then what he just never showed up she she decided not to kill him i don't know why but re re so absolutely so insane that she would even admit to that do you think she's admitting or do you think she's lying yeah. Does she want to seem more crazy than she You know is? what I mean? Like, she doesn't have an end to the story. Like, why'd you, you, why you fall She through? says, uh, if I were president, uh, she, she says that if she were president, she would give guns to every woman and not guns to any men. Well, you know, it is, they are the great equalizer. As a very pro, we should make it, the title for this video should be, uh, Julia Fox is extremely pro Second Amendment. That's what it should be called. Hey, uh, gun is ownership the, is up among women. Maybe yep. she's just picking up on a trend. She's yes. very confident that law-abiding citizens can responsibly use guns. I love it. Uh, I mean, the media, NRA's new spokeswoman. <laughs> the media is always out censoring the stories of good Samaritan gun owners all the time. So I'm, I'm yeah. happy that she's fighting against the anti-gun media complex. It says, because I feel that if they can have a penis, which is a weapon of mass destruction, it can be, it can be. I think that women should be allowed to have the same, she said at the same time. I think it equals the playing field. I think we, would get, we wouldn't get effed so much. This F'd girl so much. is equating a gun to a metal penis. Yep. Julia Fox. Uh, another level. Should not tell any of the men that she's dating that penises are a weapon of mass destruction because they're definitely going to take it as a compliment. Oh, the guy took it as a compliment. If she said that to a dude, the dude uh, that dude still like hears no. that in his head and goes, <laughs> No, I hope he's like, oh, okay, she's on the Me Too train. I've got to back right out of here. Yeah, like, not, not smart if, enough for if that. If she's saying you came into my home armed simply by having your genitalia, that's not a good sign. I'm just, and she's got a son, a son who's going to grow up to either be trans or hate himself. What if he sounds Super like it? Heteromasculine. He's, he's just, just to spite he's like, her. He's like drinking a, beer. That's what six, Teenage Rebellion is going to be yeah, like in 10 years. Crazy. For sure. She's like, she's like, we're going like, to see a military enlistment in, spike. Yeah. His she's pilot like, dad's going to be like, don't worry, son. We'll get you out of there. Yeah, yeah. He's like, they're in an apartment building in like in uptown New York. And he's like chopping wood out front of the New York <laughs> apartment building, like right on the street in East Manhattan. Gotta like, get firewood. <laughs> she's like, we have gas. <laughs> he's like begging to go to boarding school, but it's military school. <laughs> like, go to Granola. Here is uh, her incredibly nihilistic and nonsensical take on marriage. She said, at the end of the day, a wife and a prostitute are both doing the same thing. What? But the prostitute is doing it with different men, and the wife does it with the same man. They just put a fancy label on it. I'm, I'm that's telling you. That's such a sad, That's such understand. a canned take. Like, that, who introduced you to that? Right, and it's also it's inaccurate, and it's such a sad take on marriage. Like, you got married. What, what story are you going to tell your child? I married your dad in Vegas, and we had you, and I hate him. Like, I don't believe in marriage. I don't believe in anything. I just brought you into this world so that I can basically complain about the the existence and in 20 you. years she's gonna yeah. blame politicians and anyone but herself when her son is on antidepressants and sad or fox news uh, or fox news also i think this is kind of the perfect microcosm of why this show like these stories on their face sound silly and ridiculous but l magazine is still a very popular outlet women still read this stuff there are aspects of society that will look at this and think wow i mean cool i don't even know if people like mainstream normal women who pick up the magazine casually could read something like this and be like yeah I resonate with that I think it's just the journalist praising her and 
you know, her insane colleagues oh. who are agreeing and, and feeding into this frenzy. I'm going to tell you, if this was my interview and she said all this stuff, I would absolutely publish all of it. Because it's insane. It sounds deranged. Right. I don't think I would praise her. But yeah. I well, would the writer said her ability to deliver a line that sounds like the unhinged rambling of a stoned valley girl but also makes you wonder if she's actually right. So it actually resonates with, with the, the, writer. the writer. But I'm saying like, it's if like I the... were to do this interview, I would keep this stuff in. If you were the reader and you're married and she's equating you to a prostitute, like how are you supposed to take that? Something Not well. What are you supposed to do with that information? I think, I think it's obviously separating people who believe in, it's, it's furthering a cultural divide. Yeah. People who believe exactly. marriage That's is a positive I mean. thing and people who think that you know, women are enslaved by men through the institution of marriage. Is this the same journalist who is like bragging about Eva Green being mean to people? Like exactly. she's such like, a oh wow she's so contemptuous and hates oh us. Oh my god! It's yeah. like exactly what we want from any movie star. Like right? no, that is what you want from movie stars because you are mental. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Listen to full episodes of Pop Culture Crisis on Spotify. Keep up with us on social media and make sure you subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss the show. Bye guys.